What's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to look at one improvement to our current setup, which is we look at this type ORM configuration, all the information regarding the connection to the database, right? That is kind of hard coded in my configuration file. What that means is if I need to have some different configuration for my environment on local versus production, it is going to be a nightmare for me. And one more security problem is that these secrets are going to be in my code base, which is really something which we don't want to do. Because right now, these are my development machine uh, credentials. I really don't care. But I cannot have my production instance secrets lying in the code base, right? So we need to do something in a way that we can have these variables coming from an .env file. So Nest.js does allow us to do that. It has a package which will allow us to use um, you know, configurations from .env. Why don't I first show you that and then we will look at how we can implement it. So let's go to the official documentation and in here let's look for config. So we have configuration and this is the module I was talking about and they have clearly mentioned that this package internally uses .env. So again, as I told you, Nest.js is always a very good wrapper on some of the very common and popular modules which are already there on npm.js. They are just you know, giving you a better API to work with. So we will see what kind of API we get once we install this. So I'll just copy it over and let me open up a new terminal and start installing it. So it added five packages from five different contributors. That's fine. Very typical of NPM to give this information. But right now we have our application with the config. config. Okay. So what we have done so far is inside our app dot module, which is you know, the main app and in that in the entry point, we said that we are using type ORM and we had passed the configuration. Okay. However, now what happens is this type ORM config, which is coming from this file, is just an object which is of type type or a module options. But if you look at it, we really want a little more than ORM, uh, you know, this uh, object because we want to inject the configuration service so that we can use the config service functions to interact with the .env variables. Okay. And inside this object, I cannot inject one more, um, how do you say? you know, uh, a service, right? So what we will do is, first of all, inside app.module, we have this type ORM thing. So we will make it an async function, okay? And this one obviously then becomes async, okay? Now you will realize that this entire modification I'll do inside this app and I will not even go to my terminal to see whether things are working or not. And I will be able to properly configure everything and I'll get errors wherever you know, I'm making any mistake. So first thing first, it says cannot find name, obviously, because what I am exporting is not with the async key. So now this is fine. It starts saying it still says that interesting. Oh, yeah, I need to update that. So this is fine. Again, type ORM options. This I think is type ORM module async, right? Now, immediately it will start complaining that it doesn't expect an, you know, an object kind of a thing. Rather, if we go inside it, it has a option where I can use a factory. Okay, and in the factory is where I will add the, um, how do you say, I'll inject 
the config service okay so because this is a factory let me for some time just get rid of this i'll keep this in a new file for now okay and in here we want to use factory and this is going to invoke an async anonymous function okay and in that anonymous function i'm going to inject the config service of type config service so this is where we you know, got the config service from the module which we just installed and this function is going to return me a promise of type ORM module options and the implementation is let's just say we need to get the options from from a function right because now we have this so we got this um, you know injected the another you know, config service so what we i will do here is temporarily create a ca class sorry <clears throat> export default class type orm config and in that i'll have a static function which is get orm config I'll need the config service. So again, I'll just say it requires config service of type config service. It returns type ORM module options. Return, let me take this and put it in here. Some problem is it because, right. Um, type ORM config class dot get to rm config it expects the config service so i'll just send it the config service which we are injecting here so config service not the one in capital this okay it's still complaining let me see why so first of all it's use factory okay and i think i need to say it imports config module okay and one more thing is i need to inject okay so some syntax syntax error which i'm making let me see quickly so this is fine promise of type orm module options cannot find name config service is this capital no so imports is fine and then config service sync first right that one keyword was kind of playing with me but okay so we have this and obviously we need to inject the config service as well so i'll just add that as well uh, just to be safe okay injection is done so it um, so basically what i'm saying over here is that it imports the config module and then we have this factory in that factory we are you know injecting the config service and we are passing that to this function which will return me the object now why is it not properly aligned is a question typically what happens is if this is not aligned it means there's some problem i hope everything is correct so in the app module this is fine this files work is over okay let's go ahead and see what's so now what do we have we don't have an env file as of now so we can create one in that we will have let's say db host equals localhost db username for me what is it right now its username is postgres and password right so postgres db password is password and the database name is quiz so db name equals quiz and db port equals this is postgres of 5432 if i'm not wrong right the type is kind of you know it's an enumerated type uh, so i'll keep it here okay so host is localhost now all these i will change one by one first things first username this and this so we have six out of this i don't need one yeah so five five and in here we have five variables as well so config service dot get okay 
db underscore and let's look at them one by one so the host is host obviously port port host username password name right and then we have db username password and db name like so all right so everything is changed okay and let's see if our application is still running i'll just close it and start once again okay it ran these queries which means it was able to connect let me go to postman try to load our quizzes it didn't work that's interesting i hope the entire database is not empty it is running the queries that's for sure but quiz create in this i have quiz okay so it is the it is creating the only thing is i guess i have yeah i had cleaned the database so it's <laughs> not giving any data but yeah the basic interactions are working so yeah i mean that's how basically we have all our configurations now in an env file rather than you know hard coding them inside a ts file which is really a security risk and what have we done so you know, if we recap we have our um let me let me do this yeah so we first changed our app dot module and we said that instead of for root it will be for root async and we are expecting a configuration which is also of type async from the same file we haven't changed anything yet there and then we you know did some level of changes inside this file we created a class called type orm config and the type orm config has a static function which is get orm configuration it sends us an object of type orm module options i mean it's a type type orm module options that's a little tricky um, but yeah so this is the object and it returns an object of these configurations which i can change at any point of time these ones are from env you can have logging and sync as part of env as well there's no harm you just need to create that key so this is the function and how are we creating the instance and sending that function so this is where the magic is happening so this is um the orm config async you know, object which is of type type orm module async options we injected the configuration service in here okay that is the most important part wherever you are trying to inject some other service inside a module or in some kind of configuration you should see how you can use a factory because then inside the factory you can pass an async function right it's like you know this will be called uh, when you know this is being requested for so in that factory we said this is an async function where we are injecting the configuration service and we expect a promise of type this which is exactly what we are returning right and then we call our type orm config dot get orm config this is the class which we created and you know this is the static function right and we created it static so that we don't need to create an instance of it and you know make these things very verbose and obviously to support the nest you know dependency management you need to say that i am importing this config module inside this closure and i'm also injecting the config service with that done we have our complete configuration in the en file i'll just need to delete this somehow okay i'll just update my configuration any which ways so yeah that's it guys that's how we can make our application the nest application be aware of the configurations and other any any kind of configuration from the env file this is really the best way to save your secrets in an env file and then loading them through the configuration manager and all of this is um required because i am trying to host this application on heroku so that you know we can have a front end application maybe running on um vercel which talks to our heroku api and gives us this nice little admin interface through which we can you know create questions and even take quizzes so that's it guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel